Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you have been following my channel for a while now, you will know that I have been renovating my house for at least a couple of years from kitchen renovations to outdoor makeovers, bedroom makeovers, and I have a big one coming up that I am gearing myself up for, and that is my bathroom makeover. I am ordering supplies and making plans and getting ready to go on that project. But before I get into that, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the smaller projects that I've done that have made a big impact in my home, specifically under $100. But first, I wanna tell you guys about today's sponsor, June's Journey. Now, June's Journey has sponsored me before and a lot of you guys play this game as well. You've let me know in the comments. If you don't know, June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game and it's set in the 1920s and it follows the main character, June Parker, as she tries to solve the murder of her sister. As you find the hidden objects, you progress through the game and collect clues that bring you closer to the answers for June. You can also customize and remodel your mansion and your garden island. I like to play June's Journey whenever I need a break as a stress reliever, if I need to just take a little break from DIY or in the evenings when my brain feels fried from working all day and I just use it to relax. June's Journey is free to download on iOS and Android devices, also through Facebook games. So go download June's Journey for free by clicking the link down in the description or you can click on the QR code that's on the screen. Okay, so on to the projects. I have talked about this before on my channel and I'll say it again, the number one way, the least expensive with the biggest impact to update your home is with paint. But I wanna talk about a few specific projects that I've done that made a really big impact. So I had these three windows here in my living room and they were in great shape, great condition. So it really wasn't cost effective or a good idea to switch them out. So I decided to spray paint them and prep is super important with painter's tape and paper to make sure you don't get the spray paint everywhere. And I'm going in with a spray paint in farmhouse black and I am just using very light coats because I don't want the spray paint to run and I also don't want it to make the windows be painted shut. I did two light coats so after that dries I am removing the tape. This is honestly my favorite part because you can really start to see the impact that the windows have against the white walls and I wanted to add a little bit more to the window so I'm using black electrical tape to create kind of a faux grid just to give it a little bit more character and this is how it turned out. I also did this project in my half bath and I think it really added a lot to this room as well. Another big impact project with paint, which I've done multiple times, is painting my interior doors a contrasting color than the walls or a typical white. Just like with the windows or any painting project really, prep is really important. So before I go in with any paint, I am using a liquid deglosser because these doors were painted with a semi-gloss paint and nothing will stick to that except semi-gloss. And then I primed them, but you can't really tell because the primer was white. And then I went in with my main color. This is Sherwin-Williams Jogging Path. I've fallen in love with this color. I really think it goes with just about anything but I like to paint the inside of the panels first with a brush and then go in with a roller because it's a much smoother application and a lot quicker and you can really see how much contrast it has against the white and how much character it can add to an otherwise very boring hallway. I also did the same project in my dining room painting the doors black and I love the way that looks against the white. Another project that was pretty popular that involved painting an interior door 
but I took it a step further and that was my front door. Now the reason that this project is falling under the under $100 category is because I was able to find the products that I needed for free on Facebook Marketplace. And I added a window to my front door. It had a very small little window, but I added a much bigger one. If I were to have bought that window, which I have before, it was close to $300. So that wouldn't work for our purposes of this video, but you can go to a like used building supply store or check Facebook Marketplace, and the door itself may be in bad shape, but you can get the actual window like I did to use in your project. This is definitely one of my favorite projects that I did in the house. It just made such a big difference and let so much light in. So the first thing that I'm doing is removing the window insert from the old door. It usually has little like screw covers. You just pop those out and then you can unscrew all of the little screws and it detaches from itself into two pieces, an inside and an outside piece. And then I needed to cut a hole into my front door, which was kind of nerve wracking because I didn't take the door off of the hinges, but I went in with a drill bit first to drill some pilot holes so I could have a place to start with my jigsaw. And once I did that in each corner, I just kind of mapped out how big I needed the hole to be and followed that line with my jigsaw. And then I had a big hole in my door, which was kind of nerve wracking, but popping in the new frame was super quick and easy. So I screwed that together, added a coat of paint, and this is how the front door turned out. Another thing that's gonna make a big impact for not a lot of money is the hardware in your home, whether that be the hardware in your kitchen or in your bathrooms. Switching it out to something more modern will make a big impact. Also faucets in bathrooms and kitchens, something more updated, a little bit more your style, makes a huge difference for not a lot of money. So when I originally did this half bath makeover, I had the tiniest budget possible. I found this vanity on Facebook Marketplace for I think $40 and I painted it green and I used the original hardware that came with it and it looked really nice, but I really thought that brass hardware would look nice against the green. So I decided to swap that out. I also used the original faucet that came with the vanity and nothing was wrong with it, it still functioned, but I thought it would look much nicer to add a gold one, and I think it really made it look a lot more custom. Okay, let's talk accent walls. This is a huge way to make impact for not tons of money. I think almost all of the accent walls that I've done in my home have been under $100, with the exception of bigger scale walls, because that's going to cost more, but smaller walls are a really good opportunity to add a little bit of an accent and it doesn't cost a fortune, but it really elevates your space. There are so many options for accent walls. It can be overwhelming, so I wanna show you a few of them. This wall that I did in my dining room is called a batten wall. I also did the same thing in my daughter's room, but halfway up with some wallpaper. And then for my guest bedroom, I used beadboard paneling and just topped it off with a one by four and then my bedroom I used box molding I also used the same box molding in my entryway and in my living room to just kind of give the main floor some continuity and then another project that you can do is shiplap I like to use it vertical because it looks more modern but for this kids bathroom that is actually paneling but you'd never be able to tell this accent wall I kind of just made up off the top of my head with little pieces of trim and I've also done a brick wall too so your options are limitless 
Another category is light fixtures. I've talked about it's pretty simple to switch out a light fixture. Now, not all of them will fall under the $100 category. If you're wanting a big chandelier or something like that, that may be a little bit more expensive. But smaller light fixtures, accent lighting, lights in hallways, also you can check online for used ones. I've talked about that before, but that makes a huge difference in updating your home. Big impact, not tons of money. One of my favorite light fixture switches was in this hallway. These lights were super dark and dated and I took those out, ordered a couple from Amazon that were very inexpensive and a lot more stylish. Also in this front entryway, I think this is actually the same light that I hated so much and switched it out with this updated one. But I think the most impactful switch was removing this fluorescent light and replacing it with recessed lights. I also did some switches on the exterior, removing this dated light fixture and adding a more updated black version. If new lights are not in the budget at all, you can take lights that you have and give them a makeover. I had this lighting for the bathroom, but I did not want to do chrome. So I just used some brass spray paint to give it a little bit of a facelift. And I think it looks super nice in the space and way more updated than it would have otherwise. Okay, the last thing that I want to talk about are mirrors, specifically these big giant builder grade mirrors that are usually either glued or clipped on above your bathroom vanity. They're not really custom looking. They serve their purpose, but you don't really think much more about them. So a way to make them a little bit prettier is to add a frame to them. So I've seen people either glue, I've actually done this before, or nail a frame on the outside without taking the mirror down. But for my kid's bathroom makeover, I wanted to do something different. I wanted the frame to be really thin like this inspiration picture for not that price. So I took the mirror down and brought it to a local glass cutting place and they cut it for $10. And then I used some adhesive and put the mirror back up onto the wall. And then I took my table saw and I used some wood trim and I just notched a little L shape into the corner, just enough to fit the mirror. And then I am using glue and one or two brad nails to hold the frame together until the glue dries. And then I took it outside and made sure to use conditioner so that the stain would not go on splotchy and then ended up staining the entire piece in my favorite stain color which is minwax early american and after i let that dry i brought it back upstairs it was a really tight fit so i kind of had to push it on there but that's what i was going for and in order to make sure that this was going to stay i just added a few brad nails to the outside making sure not to hit the mirror making sure it went into the drywall just so I can guarantee that it does not go anywhere. And I think it looks so much better and so much more custom in this bathroom. And the best part is I think the entire project cost me around $30 instead of the $800 from our inspiration picture. That's it for today's video. I hope these tips really helped you guys. I am always looking for ways to save money on home projects wherever I can. So I am always, my channel is always going to be budget friendly as possible. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. Also make sure that you download June's Journey by clicking the link in the description. And I will see you guys very soon and we will be starting that big bathroom project. I'm really excited. I'll see you guys then, bye.